we went in to get Josh and he was arched backwards and I remember his head was back and he was rigid and I couldn't straighten him. Eventually he fell asleep and in the morning I, you know, he slept longer than usual and he was very quiet and I just thought, oh, thank goodness we've got through that night, he's all right, you know. But um, things weren't right. They weren't ever the same. <laughs> what else do you want, Joshy? <laughs> What? A bar. Yeah, that'll be nice, eh? Like Josh, Jake Piper finds comfort in food. Nice. A change in diet has helped bring down his weight, but he's still over 80 kilos. Try these zucchini. Somebody gave me these. Jake has Sturge Weber syndrome. He was born with a port wine stain over most of his body. The right side of Jake's brain has deteriorated from constant seizures. That's all right. Is it, you never get used to them? Like, he hasn't had one for ages. But, and you think, oh, seizure, seizure, blah, blah, blah. But every time it happens, it's scary, eh? What happens? What, describe to me what, what happens. Well, sometimes, yeah, it, it just tends to go vacant and then he'll look to one side and he sort of stops breathing too and goes blue and start shaking sometimes if it's a bad one. Have you ever thought about full-time residential care for Jake? No, just don't want to, I, yeah, yeah. Jake's seizures have led to many desperate drives to Auckland Starship so Hospital. Bring you some more cucumbers. Above all, Bye. the Pipers no, want to care for their son at home. Good boy. They believe it's important to include Jake as much as possible in family yeah. life to grow up alongside teenage brother Cody and eight-year-old Lockie. He's actually like a really gentle soul. He's, um, I can never hurt anybody apart from himself. He's oh, quite trusting, like he'd go with anybody, um, as long as, you know, they feed him. <laughs> but tell me, what are some of the challenges looking after him? Um, well, at the moment, the, the challenges have changed over the years. Mm -hmm. When he was young, Every day for four hours, all he would do is scream and cry. And all he used to do was, the only thing we could calm him was to walk him up and down this road in a buggy. And he seems to be quite easily occupied. The whole time he plays the ho all day. But that's another thing, if you take him somewhere, you've got to remember, especially in a car, like if you're picking him up from Wilson Home or something, you've got to remember to have something, like one of his toys, otherwise you'll just bang, bang, bang the whole time. Liz has now injured her back trying to lift Jake. She admits she can't cope, even with a part-time carer. Husband Roger has had to give up his job as a builder to care for Jake full-time. Yeah, it just had to be done, I think. That's what I felt. Yeah. Come on, Jake. It's going to be shy. Come on, it's too hot. Liz has found part-time work as a cleaner, but the new arrangement has taken its toll on their finances. But it's like nappies and, you know, we get two nappies a day from the government, but he uses five to six a day. So, this is ongoing costs. When Josh was living at home full time, the barbers were entitled to respite care, around 48 days a year. I think it was every second weekend we had one day, or one night that Josh could stay down in Beach Haven. And we used to have to take him down there and stay the night, come back for the night and then go back and pick him up in the morning. So it wasn't really much of a rest because it was, most of the time was spent driving. We really did get so that we were exhausted physically, mentally, emotionally, in every way really, um, running on empty. Gary moved his business to the end of the driveway to be on hand in emergencies. If I was alone in the house with Josh and um, I needed help fast because Josh would get really agitated and he could, he started to smash windows and things with his head. So I'd grab the air horn from the pantry and run outside and give a, a blast and that was Gary's signal that I needed help fast. And he'd run down and help because it needed two of us to sort of um, calm Josh down. <laughs> The Piper family lives barely 10 minutes from Snell's Beach. But juggling Jake's needs means there's little time for family outings. When we suggested a trip to the beach, the family admitted they'd got to a stage 
where they seldom enjoy what's right on their doorstep. For both families, the priority is looking after their boys. Even though he's getting good care, ideally, you know, our, our family, oh, we would love him to be in our community, you know, so that for family occasions or whatever, or just, you know, through the week, we could bring Josh home for dinner or for tea, to do things for the beach, you know. But um, it's just not possible, and that's that makes it hard. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah, four. Four.